Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. We now feature part of an interview with Kyle Snyder, an Iraq war veteran turned anti-war activist. In this segment, he talks about American wars abroad and his attempts to seek a discharge from the U.S. Army. Um, my name is Kyle Snyder and I'm, I'm currently AWOL from the United States military after being denied a discharge from Fort Knox authorities, Major Brian Patterson. Um, I am currently in Chicago with, so I could be closer to my lawyer and uh, just around people with like minds. So. Um, have you been doing other travels? Uh, yeah, so I was in Canada previously before I traveled all over Canada um, doing anti-war work and activism and uh, I've seen a lot of Canada and now um, I plan on doing the same thing in the United States until this is all solved. What do you plan to do? Um, well, just basically to show people that, look, you know, I'm being persecuted for my beliefs, my belief system, and um, I'm basically being persecuted, and it's self-evident. It's, you know, pretty evident that I'm not asking for much except a discharge from the military, and for them to refuse something as simple as that is is uh, ridiculous. Could you talk a little bit about why you're asking for a discharge and the belief system that um, animates that? Right. Um, well, I, I don't believe in the Iraq war anymore. Um, number one, I should be discharged from the military service because of... Uh, of things that I witnessed and my mental health now. I have post-traumatic stress disorder. I have, you know, firm beliefs that are against a lot of war. Um, I'm not against all war, but I am against uh, wars that are driven by false policies and false proposition. Um, that should be taken into consideration. I can't be actively a soldier um, if my belief system is that way and my conscience is telling me everything different. Um, it's not being taken into consideration by authorities and uh, I find that, I, I think that that's persecution. I think that uh, I should be released and discharged from the military. If we can talk a little bit about your experiences in Iraq. Um, in one interview you had said that while you were in Iraq you watched your friends slowly lose their soul. Could you talk a little bit about what you meant by that? Well, I, I, I mean, the morale there was so... It, it wasn't my friends, you know. It, they weren't my friends anymore. Mm -hmm. It was somebody different. They were some completely different people. They were still there. We still joked. We still did the same things. I mean, they probably even thought the same thing about me. But being over in Iraq, everything changed. You know, um, I've seen, I saw people completely change right in front of me. People that I respected, my commanding officer, Captain Chung. Um, I respected him immensely. And then I found out a completely different side of him when we went to Iraq. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it looked like two different people to me. Um, same thing with my, uh, you know, a lot of people there actually changed they they turned either turned to these gung-ho soldiers where we need to you know discriminate against the iraqi people every single day make jokes about you know their race make jokes about who they are and um that's what keeps us you know motivated that's that's ridiculous that is ridiculous um there are currently is um discussion in the media and in policy circles about a possible war against Iran. What are your thoughts about that? I think it's ridiculous. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, strategically, tactically, you know, if I was still in the military, I would say that it's ridiculous um, because I wouldn't want to do it, number one. Our troops are exhausted. Um, they're going through three or four tours. So, you know, to even think about an op opposition against Iran is insane. And to tell Iran that they can't have nuclear capabilities or nuclear technology is nuts. When we have 10,000 10, times more nuclear weapons in the United States than any other country in the world. It's, I, I just think it's ridiculous. We should be asking them for help. We should not be sitting there saying, you're, you're the scum of the earth. You're, 
because you don't believe the way that we believe. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Kathy Kelly with Voices in the Wilderness, based here in Chicago, and you're watching Chicago Independent Television. Bring the troops home now. Bring the troops home now. Bring the troops home now. Stop funding war and occupation. Stop funding war and occupation. Bring the troops home now. Bring the troops home now. On Tuesday, March 20th, on Tuesday, March 20th. On Tuesday, March 20th, join us to protest. To protest the fourth anniversary of the Iraq War. The legal march itself, itself a, a free, free speech, speech victory, four years in the making, steps off at 7.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m. from Walton and State, down Michigan Avenue to Daly Plaza. Down Michigan Avenue to Daly Plaza. To learn more, call 773-536-0098. Call 773-536-0098. Five three six zero zero nine eight, or go to m20coalition.net. That's the letter M, the number two zero coalition.net. See you in the streets. See you in the streets. See you in the streets. Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. The Coalition of Immokalee Workers is a group of farm workers and labor activists from the town of Immokalee, Florida. They are currently organizing protests against McDonald's that are to take place in Chicago in April 2007. These protests are part of the campaign to raise the wages and working conditions of McDonald's workers. In this segment from Austin Indian Media, we visit a protest march to the Chicago Rock and Roll McDonald's that occurred in April 2006. Que ellos traten de 
You've been watching Chicago Independent Television, a project of the Chicago Independent Media Center Video Collective. The Independent Media Center is a growing worldwide network of media producers, journalists, citizens, and activists working to put the media in the hands of everyday people and away from corporate and commercial interests. To learn more, visit our website at chicago.indymedia.org. There you can find out about upcoming Chicago area events and how to get involved in making your own media including how to help make this very TV show. Thanks for watching. See you next time.